Hey guys, welcome to another video. So guys, the Diablo 4 Early Access Beta dropped today and I've spent a few hours playing it. And I even managed to get to max level on my Barbarian. I will of course be playing it a ton more on all the other classes available, but what I wanted to do is make this video to talk about my first impressions, how it felt, looked, and all that kind of stuff. So let's get into it. So right off the bat I want to address what happened when it first launched. Those of us who were waiting got in fairly quickly, but then almost as quickly the server crashed and we all got booted. Now, some people seem to get quite upset about this, I've even seen posts online. However, I want to remind you this was meant to be a stress test, so things like this are to be expected. Then of course after my queue I did manage to get in and it was smooth sailing from there, so that was good. The first thing I want to talk about is the character creator, a new feature to Diablo with Diablo 4, and a welcome one to be sure. Now this character creator is not even close to the best I've seen though, but it's something. At least now we don't all look the same depending on our class, it offers a few different looks, but where it shines is with the color palette options. There are so many. The markings and tattoos are quite well executed as well. Overall it's a great start. I do think we will see it grow with time though, as of now it's fairly limited. So anyway, I created my Barbarian and set out. This is where the first actually awesome thing in Diablo 4 is obvious. Your character, completely customized, is now part of the story, seamlessly in the cutscenes. This goes a very long way in making you get that feeling of immersion and that you're part of the story instead of simply watching it. They did an excellent job with this. Another thing you will notice very early from the cutscenes as well as the scenery is that they weren't exaggerating when they said it was a return to darkness, and they wanted it to be more gritty. Everywhere you look you will see entrails, people on stakes, corpses that are quite graphic, bodies burning, blood and pentagrams. It truly is a much much darker Diablo than we have seen in many years. Which to be honest is a pretty good thing, because that's what we want from Diablo. Now the quests are excellent, well written, no fetch nonsense, and make you feel like a cast member in the story. There's a great mix between cutscenes, isometric mini cutscenes, and you actually interacting. The dialogue is great, although some of the accents are questionable. Think Tom Cruise's Irish accent in Far and Away, and you'll get the idea. But aside from that I'd say that the quests are a solid B plus so far, but we only got access to very few. After about 10 minutes playing, you will lose all track of time and feel completely immersed, which is exactly what we want from any Diablo title. And then when you reach your first city you will realize that cities in Diablo are not what we are used to either. They are actual cities with many shops, artisans, vendors, and it's nice seeing others walking around also. It mixes in that MMO feeling even though you're playing an ARPG. It reminds me very much of Path of Exiles when I first logged into that and saw all the people standing around town. As you explore the map, you will encounter all sorts of events. Very much like you did in the previous Diablo titles, but these ones do feel more fun. Instead of simply killing waves of monsters, we now have to actually protect NPCs, and they do actually take damage, and if you succeed you get a mastery finish and much better rewards. I kinda like that. You can't simply hide in a corner AoEing for these ones. The real fun though, and that old Diablo feeling comes when you enter dungeons. These are excellent, great aesthetics, much thicker mob density more like Diablo 3 in here, and they're quite different, each with their own unique objectives. What I especially liked about them though, was they are short enough to enjoy, but long enough to feel like you actually accomplish something. They roughly take between 10 and 20 minutes depending on which one you choose, and they are quite rewarding upon completion. Now, to the stuff I think could be better, and where it's not so great. First the shrines, these are a bit of a letdown. They don't feel as impactful or fun as they did in Diablo 3, or even Diablo 2 for that matter. The effects are cool, but they didn't spend nearly enough time making them actually pop. And it feels like you constantly get the same one. I don't know if it was because of my level, or only having access to one zone, but it just felt very repetitive, so overall I think the shrines need some more attention. And the scenery. Although it looks great and it is beautiful, it also is a bit overly shiny. Like everything looks slick. Like Lilith's first wave was dumping millions of gallons of baby oil all over Sanctuary. Why is everything wet? And right now, although I'm sure this will be fixed for retail, you will get frame drops when you leave town, or even enter certain areas. But that's not too big a deal as it is a beta with very many people flooding it. So I wanted to point it out, although again, I doubt we will see this in retail. My biggest issue I think though was with the UI. It just looks out of place. Now I know people are playing this on console and they need to be able to see it from their couch, but on PC it looks terrible. It's very zoomed in, messy, all the fonts are different in different sizes. It just doesn't match the rest of the game if you know what I mean. The game is so beautiful and then you pull up this UI. It looks like a phone app UI if I'm being honest. If they could somehow clean that up, I think it would be a much better game. And I know you're thinking it's just a UI, but it's almost like jarring when you open your inventory. It immediately changes how the whole game looks and feels. 
So in conclusion, is it a good game? Yes, it's a great game. I've been having a blast playing it. Is it amazing and will it blow you away? No. At least not yet. It's hard to tell really. ARPGs are about the endgame loop and we are only seeing the first 25 levels. But from this beta impression, no, it's not mind blowing. Again, it's good and no, it isn't trash. It's an excellent entry into the franchise. Now, would I recommend the pre-order? No. If you're on the fence and not a hardcore Diablo fan, as I said, we haven't seen much yet. Only the first zone and the first 25 levels. If you're not invested in the franchise as a fan and on the fence about buying it, I would wait. Because I will admit I'm a bit biased by my love of the franchise. So if you don't love the franchise, you may not love this game as much as others will. Because like I said, it's a great Diablo game so far. But even for me, it wasn't anything mind-blowing. So, have any of you guys tried the beta? What are your thoughts? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments. And if you've encountered any bugs or any strange things, I'd also love to hear about those because I was kind of hoping that I would encounter some, but it was pretty smooth overall. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.